Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Papercraft Secrets. Today I am creating a fall banner. This has been a request on my YouTube channel and I have a printable that you can print off and create a fall banner especially for your home exactly the same as the one that I'm creating in this video. This is an easy project to create. You're going to love it. So let's get started. The first step is to print your pages from my website. There are five pages of the banners and there are two pages of the fussy cutting elements. To begin with, you can use your paper trimmer to trim down each of your banners. Using your paper trimmer is the quickest way to trim out your banners, but it also can be a little bit tricky to get a very accurate cut on the black line. You can finish off the point of the banner with a pair of sharp scissors. I'm going to cut the rest of my banners with my sharp scissors because I just like the control a little bit more. But you choose the option that suits you the best. So I'm just working now in very fast speed to cut out all of my banners and once you've got them all cut out and ready to go we're ready for our next task. Here's our banners all spread out so beautifully. Now we're going to deal with our element page. Now there's one element page in the kit but you need to print it twice because you'll need 10 pictures to go with our 10 banners. So what I'm doing first is I'm just cutting them out roughly so that they're smaller and easier to handle to fussy cut out the whole image. So take one image at a time and trim around the edge of the image. Take your time, you can do this in front of the television or away from your craft table because it might take you you know half an hour to an hour to cut out all of these little pictures. Once you have all of your fussy cutting done we're going to punch some holes in the top corners of our bunting. I'm just using a single hole punch to punch my holes and I'm using the other pages as a guide so that I can get those holes in the same position. Once you have all of those holes punched, it's time to think about the order of the colors that you want your banner to go in. So I tried to balance the darker colors through the lighter colors and you know, achieve some sort of a pattern that I liked. Then I chose a black ribbon to thread through each of the banners. You don't have to choose a black ribbon. You could choose a cream lace or a white ribbon. Whatever you think will suit your home decor. You will need quite a lot of it though. I actually went through about two and a half rolls of this black ribbon to create this so just keep in mind that it will take quite a bit of ribbon or lace so make sure you have enough on hand. Once you have all of the ribbon threaded through onto each banner it's time to make some little bows in between each banner. 
I use some black ribbon again just to make a little bow in between and this will stop the papers from sliding and it will also just hold everything securely in place and decorate. So I'm just going to go through and cut some ribbon so that I've got some ready to go. And I'm tying a ribbon in between each one of my banners. I'm also tying one on the ends, both ends of each of the banner to hold everything in place. And then I'm just running a line of liquid glue underneath that ribbon so that it is nice and secure. So this banner won't be moving. Everything will be safely secured. And then if you need to pack it up and put it away for until next season, you know, it's not gonna be a tangled mess when you get it out. So just continuing with the bow in between each of the banners and gluing that ribbon down on each of the banners. Once you have finished that step, we're moving on to the next step, which is adding our fussy cut images. So what I'm doing here is enjoying the process of picking an image that best matches the background pattern on the bunting. And there are five different images and two copies of each design. So you want to sort of think about whether you want them to be in a special order or whether you're happy with them being in any particular order. I just didn't want two images next to each other. And I tried to pick contrasting colors. To download your printable for the fall banner, make sure you hop on over to my website at www.papercraftsecrets.com.au. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely crafty day.